show you the first piece of the all-in-one search console or SEO reporting dashboard, um, how many pages you have indexed on Google, how many keywords are indexed, and then how that has performed over time. The first thing you do when you open up a new Data Studio uh, report is you're going to need to add your data. So here we're going to click Add Data. For this report, we're going to be using primarily Search Console, but also um, Google Analytics. So we're going to select our sources here. Not quite done yet. Let's add more data sources. There's Search Console, and we'll need to add the site impression and the URL impression. And I'm actually going to go into our manage data sources here that, so that we can name these uh, and not get confused in the future. And name this one was the site impression. So data source the URL impression and make sure your property perimeter is the same and we'll edit this one to have URL impression we need these little boxes here are scorecards so we will add scorecard and this is going to be a landing page but we're going to reformat it to be count distinct yes and then we'll do one more. But now, instead of landing page, we'll have query. So we can see that we have 43 pages uh, indexed on Google um, and 395 keywords. Just gonna name this uh, pages on Google. keywords in Google. And the other thing we want to do is create a chart to see how this has changed over time. So now we'll add a time series chart. And we're working with the data source URL impressions from Search Console. Dimension will stay date, but we're going to change the type of date to probably month year. Um, and our default date range, we're going to create custom and come down here to advanced. We want to see the last 12 months. If you do just the last year, you're going to run into problems when the year changes over. And you want to look at the previous month because if you do just the day before, then your, your charts are going to look funky until the end of the month. And, may worry some uh, clients. And then this, we want to be, oh, I'm sorry, the metric is going to be what is shown in our uh, line here. Query. And our secondary metric will be um, landing pages. Now, we need to separate lines here so that this flows a little bit nicer um, here. So series one we have on the left axis and series two, the landing page, we're going to change 
to the right axis uh, so that we get that uh, varying flows with their own um, appropriate series numbers. Let's see. Yes. And if you wanted to You can add a data control here. Um, so that you don't have to change for every single one of your clients. You can just choose whichever uh, other client you want to view here. 